Okay, if you're Engage and the hub have become unpaired, how do you fix it? I'm going to show you now. First of all, uh, you need to verify that the unpairing has happened. So just if you take your hub, you'll see three lights across the bottom of the hub itself. If the center light and the light on the right are not flashing or are out, then you have an unpairing issue. Now, the other thing to check is the version number of the hub. You'll see on the back, this one's version 1.0. And now we'll just verify they're unpaired through the engage. Now, if you see on the dashboard, you'll see that the real-time usage widget shows that red spinning icon. That confirms that it's unpaired. Another way is to go to the settings page. It's here. It's my equipment. And again, you'll see there the status of the devices. Now, before you start pairing the devices, it's a good idea to bring the transmitter as close as you can to the hub to get a nice strong signal um, for the pairing process, like that. Okay, if you've got version 1.0 of the hub, this is what you do, it's settings, clamps and sensors, and press scan for sensors. Now, as you press pair my device, also press the link button on the transmitter. So pair my, press pair my device, on the Engage platform and the link button several times on the transmitter. There you go, you see that that's, that's been a successful pairing. I'm just going to press continue to return. Now if you've got version 1.1 of the hub, here's what to do. Again, go to settings, clamps and sensors, and this time, You'll see this version is one, version 1.1 here. Again, on the back of the hub, it'll tell you that. So if you go to settings, clamps and sensors, this time press scan for sensors. And in version 1.1, the difference is there's a scan bar there that lets you see how, the progress of your scan. So let's give it some time here. Right, and there we go. Then this page comes up, and this page will show um, the multiple sensors on the system, if you have more than one. And just simply choose which one you want to pair up. And then press Pair with Sensor. Now just wait a while. This rotating icon here. Again, press the link button on the transmitter during this process as well. And sometimes this process can be slow because of the internet speed. So if you need to refresh um, the page in your browser, that will help. So there we go. Two ticks. We've got a successful pairing there. Now, if you just go back to dashboard just to confirm that you'll see that the icon on the real-time usage widget has turned green and your status is back to normal. So there you go. Now another thing that you can do with a transmitter if you still have problems is to take the batteries out, I'll take one of the batteries out and press the link button on the front. Press and hold it for 20 seconds. This will discharge the static. Now, once you've done that, replace the batteries and start the pairing process again. Um, if there's still an issue, then you might need to replace the batteries altogether in the transmitter. So there we go. There's how to successfully repair the Engage with the hub. If you have any other questions for us, please feel free to contact us at this address. Okay, thank you for your time.